nothing built can last forever. And every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes. And ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel the Warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the Redstone Engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious, and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. That's easy. I'll take the, uh, the little tiny little zombies. A hundred of them, crawling all over you with their tiny hands. Uh, all I'd need is like a shovel. I'm telling you, way too easy. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like... I don't know. Amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. We are not losers, Olivia. We lose all the time. It's okay. what we do. Oh, okay, that might be true. I can't remember the last time we've won anything. But if that's the case... It means we win at being losers. <laughs> All right. Fine. Did you hear that? Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You guys totally freaked out. That was awesome. Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm going to smell like a pig in Endercon. I thought we were buddies. Cool mask. It is, isn't it? Yeah, very convincing. <laughs> the look on your faces. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. Happy? Well, zippity doo da. Okay, relax. It's fine. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay.
This year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the Warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally, he's awesome. It'd be amazing to meet him. Reuben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Reuben with us. We basically have no chance. We're going to win because... What are you talking about? Because up to now, we've hated losing. But today, today, my friends, we're going to start learning how to love winning. That didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than Creepers. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. Yeah. Let's build an Enderman. Uh, Olivia's thing? Are you whining? No, I was saying awesome. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. Oh. 
Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing is daring. No, that's that's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team. There. Stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look, it's the Order of the Losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. I'm talking about your pig. Shut up. What's that? Jesse said, shut up. Do you need to hear it again? I don't know. Maybe. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. 
We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Pet. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are? We're cool with Petra, but you need to teach your friends some manners. He's just trying to get in your head. Well, have you heard the saying, it's possible to be nice and win? Sounds like something a loser would say. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition! The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior! Ocelots! 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just make one up. We'll call it the, uh, the Griefer Grab. Hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, the Nether Maniacs can't lose. Let's do it. Building starts now. Oh no! A fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry about your build. We'll worry about ours.
What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. Oh no, Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no, come back! The lava's getting closer. Ruin the bill. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. You guys stay and save the bill. On it. We've got to cover, Jesse. Be careful. We'll meet up with you at Endercon. Ruben, where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Hmm, pig tracks. Just oink if you can hear me. You must have run by here. Ruben, where are you, buddy? I hear some pigs. Reuben? Reuben, come here, boy! I hear some... Good thing this fire didn't spread. Reuben, are you in there? Shut up.
you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. Y this isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. You risked your life for that dusty old skull? Oh. 
I risk my life for the thing I'm gonna exchange for that dusty old skull. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. Literally. Why didn't he just go get the skull himself? He's not the kind of guy who has time to do something like that. What kind of guy is he then? The kind who understands the value of hard work. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether and you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. You want me to come with you? Consider it my charitable act for the day. I'll consider it whatever you want me to consider it, as long as I get to come. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Grab what you need. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No. We're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave us here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jack. Just place the pieces on the table. Jesse, we don't have all night. See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. I can't believe it. We won. The Enderman was the right way to go. Good for you, Jesse. It's about time we beat Lucas and his gang of jerks. What kind of stupid name is the Ocelots anyway? You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him, just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around, no matter what you might think of him personally. Yeah, you might be right. I'm just saying, if you run into him at Endercon, try talking to him. Lecture on the power of collaboration, Petra. But a lecture on the power of my fists is short, but deadly. Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Endercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. <laughs> Creepers! This doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. Hurry up, Jesse! All right, let's jump! Top of it. 
Pull yourself together and follow me. 